In the last session, we set up a trellis locally um, for our WordPress theme. We set up in the side D folder, which I just uh, installed. Uh, um, just uh, um, made for these purposes, and uh, you can see trellis is sitting on the folders and nothing else. And uh, so with that, we'll continue with the the documentation. You can see we have set up a trellis. Next thing, we're going to install using Bedrock a WordPress site. So in the, the setting for WordPress site, so we can see there are different settings. There's in this tutorial or documentation, you can see WordPress sites. Now they have different options, um, a lot of information here, but actually very simple and straightforward. In our case, let's go on with this, uh, this setup. So first we need to find the, now that, let's read this. Now that you have a trellis requirement installed, a local project setup, next thing to do is configure WordPress site. Everything in Trellis is built around the concept of sites. So each Trellis manages a server, local virtual machine or remote server that support one or more WordPress sites. In our case, we want to build more WordPress sites. Trellis will automatically configure everything needed to host WordPress sites such as the database, Ning, uh, Genix, virtual hosts, we hosts, folder directory, etc. This site can be configured in YAML file for each environment, such as Google Word. Well, let's uh, do that. Let's uh, modify the file. Going to trellis. Let's using my code editor to see where it is. So you can see. Uh, let, me, let me just open it again, okay, so that we can make sure it is the same, the real project or the, the folder for this. So, mm -hmm. okay, so that. Okay, here we go. This should be. There we go. We got everything you can see. In group war, you can see the group war WordPress site. That's where YAML, uh, this YAML file, the WordPress sites. That's where our site is. Basically, this is the templates. So let's go here and to see how things are set up. So I uh, just need to go on, move on with my setup. So the setup is going to be, in my case, I want to three sites okay so the first sites the first thing i wanted to use is its official url and the sites you know in, in my case i have a, a, a kinemate site we're going to use the kinemate site and uh this a little bit so here we go so redirect i don't need this because I'm going to lock on the web page. And uh, well, also, I'm going to have it sitting on its own folder. Now, this is the one prominent uh, very important. You can see the notes here said a path targeting local bedrock site directory relative to Ansible roots. In our case, that means there will be a path sitting parallel to Trellis. Okay, so sitting on this folder and so this is uh, uh, this is going to point to this folder basically so and we need to it is set on its own development folder that in the database side of the other folder okay you will see that more clearly when we set things up now here i want to use my own email so okay multiple site no no everything else is okay now that's one side i want to the install in my case is three sites. Okay, so I give a one line in between. I'm going to begin to modify 
uh, things and change it. Okay, so in this case, my new site, another site is going to be YouTube Studio. So that's gone. It's basically my studio site. And another site which I already webbed and uh, for the hotel site. So I'm going to change that as well. So, okay, so. So that the three sites are going to also port in the existing development for this site to show that how you continue development uh, things, you know, um, and when you change the environment, like uh, from a single package to uh, one where virtual machine have multiple sites. In my case, this is three sites seeding on it so anyway and this one is down you can see this file and close it the next thing you're going to need to do is go to the watts yaml watts site do the same thing basically you need to set up the admin password okay so the first thing first i want to change my password here so i'm going to go here generate the password and uh, go from there then so okay so, hmm. so okay here we go and then copy this and this uh, in and this element first but that's okay this is also we can uh another password okay now that's uh, I want to use anime anime that's okay so hmm. yeah anime anime is okay so in the future you you know when you deploy everything you're going to want to change everything so uh, anime password as well uh, if you go to the O you can see users you might want to change the name of this guy why I'm at it I can change this name actually I'm going to change my own name okay. Make sure it's uh, one word or lowercase. So, uh, so that's done. Now, the password you can change the password anytime you want. So, uh, back here, back here, you can see this need to be changed. The first side is going to be the kingdom made side. So, so that's that. That's good. Now I'm going to copy this line again, leave a, um, a line here and begin to change this, this uh, side addresses. So the second one is going to be new stream studio. Okay, the third one is going to be okay, the hotel side. So, okay, so that's done. So that's pretty much about it so the setup wise is the first you go to a group underscore wars variables go to the development environment found this yaml file called the wordpress underscore sites and then change and the setup for each site and then change the password for each site that if you want to change the username you can go the all directory and change using the users yaml file to change your name there okay so basically that's what it is and um, you look back here you can see they only give you one site and uh, but as i said we're going to develop three sites on one virtual machine so okay in this case let's see what's next let's see Next is uh, local development environment setup and uh, Vagrant file and keep Vagrant up. Basically, going to run all this. Then you can run Vagrant SSS and all the site and the sitting under this folder. So 
in my case, I'm going to just run it to show you. Okay, so vagrant up. That can take a, some time, so I'm going to just pause the video, and when you finish running, I'll come back to it. Okay, there's something wrong with this. Uh, bring virtual machine up with virtual machine. There are errors and confusions. Machine, please fix the following errors. Pass file share folder is missing. The host pass is missing. Hmm. That's some crazy. Okay, that's to do with the. My to do with the old machine was not totally eliminated. So I can. Uh, because I've done this before, so I was going to basically, uh, you know, just oh, okay, something is missing. I'm so sorry. First, let me just delete everything, okay? So that you know, there's no existing file sitting on this thing anymore. The second thing, I can go back here and I need to change something, I forgot. So go to development WordPress site. You can see there is a side corner and call. This is not right. I need to change to be test. Okay, I want to be dot test dot test for everyone. Okay, so dot test dot test. Actually, I'm going to shorten uh, the side in this for my purposes. That way, I can type much easier. Okay, so okay, this one is okay. So yeah, that's what it is. So, so now if I run Wigrant up, you can keep running. So huh? Uh, configuration of the machine. Share the folders missing due. That's all. I'm sorry. I have not installed bedrock i should install bedrock so wordpress site let's see what's going on okay so basically if you see this you'll see i need to set up install trailer after install trailers i need to install a project so i'm now down bedrock install so today i'm going to install all the three projects so here I'm gonna composer. You can see when you do trellis, you do the bedrock now. And you can see bedrock is basically a WordPress boilerplate with a modern development tools, easier configuration and improved folder structure. You can see all the things. And this is the folder structure. You have composer JSON, control the packaging you need. You have a web folder, control all the web, and the first is the WP folder, the DCD WordPress software. You have a w-config file. You can uh, basically, you can monitor this environment and uh, apply it here. So basically, you you know, the wearable and copy from this config folder. So that's set up, then there are some windows you can manage through JSON, uh, this is composer JSON file. So then you have the app development folder that is going to be the place where you can develop your plugin or your themes. Okay, so with that being said, we're going to open up the documentation and open up Bedrock. So, okay, you can see the sample sites, people build it. So let's go on to the bedrock and see how we install this. So it has installation, composer, create file, roots, bedrock, then give your project name. Okay, so uh, project folder name, so sorry. So here we go, we're going to go here, basically install those so, so three sites as we mentioned before. So that's one, I'm um, so sorry. I should go up level. Okay, no problem. Let me change this. Make sure I can do this. Okay, let's see. Do we have anything? 
and then each side. No, we don't have it. Okay, so we need to go upper level with the bait. From here, we can install this uh, bedrock package on our site. It takes a little bit of time to download, so. Okay, there you go. So right now the version is 1.11.0. Good. So sorry for that. So this is, the next thing we're going to do uh, is, is uh, my studio site. It's much faster because the package is already download, downloaded locally here. So. Then the hotel side, okay. So, okay, so now that's about it. So, let's uh, enter trellis run Vigrand again. Vigrand up, that should provision everything. And get it running. So there we go. Now this will take some time. So uh, you can see a lot of download has to be done. A lot of processing has to be done. Pairing has to be done. So anyway, I'm going to stop recording here. Oh, oh, not bad. So okay, should it be not so bad? It seems to be. But anyway, I'm gonna stop recording here and come back to you when it's done. Okay, so okay, we continue with our recording. It took about uh, ten to fifteen minutes for this to finish downloading the setup. But uh, for now, basically, Wengrand is running, and uh, we should go be good to go. So um, let's. Uh, follow this command. You can see you can SSH into the machine. It's a Wigrin SSH. We can do that. So you can see the size should be sitting under this folder called the SRV slash www. So, okay, so we're going to do that. SRV. Let's see what's happening. Let's do a check. It. Look at that. That's three sites now is running. Um, next time we're going to talk about uh, how to install Siege start a thing into each site and uh, also I'm going to try to work on uh, this site as a hotel site try to recover my former development which is sitting um, in as one development environment sitting on one virtual machine in this case we have three sites sitting on one machine so uh, we're going to stop recording from here. We'll take it out from next time. Okay, thank you.